I have had one of the most cathartic two weeks of my life. I basically cut back on the pot. I still have it, but I have not been smoking as heavily as I was, you know, for the last year or so. I've been uh, smoking daily joints for the last few months. Joint, well, just January, you know, November. And I started just, just cutting it out, you know, just puffing a little, like maybe a puff in the morning and working out all day. And, you, you know, you get the motivation from it without getting stoned and um, all this working out. And then I started eating vegan. I've been like cooking lentils and, uh, and rice and uh, quinoa and then putting beans like black beans in it using these all these different oils like a sesame oil and an olive oil and a, um, grape seed oil sunflower oil I, I can it's in there I can show you I'll show you at a, a different time uh, I can't move my camera over there right now so cleansing and I've just been crying A lot. Well, not not a lot. A lot for me because, you know, the last 15 years of my life, I didn't really cry much. Really, my whole life, I wasn't much of a crier. I kind of always thought of it as kind of a sign of weakness. Like, people weren't going to like me if I cried, but it's not really about what people like because I need to do this. And I've been, you know, I, I left Amy, basically. Amy and I broke up relatively mutually I brought it up she was happy to oblige and I just kind of left in a stoned haze and after I started clearing my head I started realizing what love is you, you know to walk out on that is gut-wrenching and it's purifying and it's real and it's animalistic. And this world is not going to be here tomorrow because there is no tomorrow. There's right now. This is it. This is it. So take advantage of it. Because this is it. The people, they they come and they go, and it's, it's take advantage of them. I mean, don't let them go without saying what you think, because if you really love them, you have to tell them. I can feel it now. I just ate. I just ate a bunch of quinoa. And when I have food in my stomach, I'm not as quick to tears. Uh, it kind of, I don't know if it blockades the, whatever, the release or something. Or I feel like I'm going to puke instead of cry because there's so much shit in my stomach. But there's, we, there's this one thing that's going I, I don't know you know there's there's probably there's obviously other universes and other realities and we're born into this reality so there's likely others like it I would assume but you never know maybe we always relive the same thing but I doubt that because everything's moving and changing I wanted to um to plug a friend of mine a really good friend of mine got hit by a car a few weeks ago about a month ago and um He's in the hospital recovering right now. And there's a GoFundMe account for him to donate. And if you can, don't please do. Uh, his name is Brandon Clark. He's an actor with Sacred Fool. I mean, he's, he's a Hollywood actor with Sacred Fool. He runs like the uh, magnum opus. And uh, he's a real genius. And when it happened, I it felt like, I don't know if you've ever been hit in the head like by, by a hard object, like hard, hard hit in the head where it's like so hard, but you don't get like really hurt, but it's just like you get jacked in the head. Like that's what it felt like kind of when I found out that he got hit and, and it realized like, 
this is so fucking ridiculous. Why why would I pretend to, to be this or that when my friends are like not immortal? You know, like he's really my friend. You know, I, f I feel like I, f I feel like I fucked up, kind of. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's supposed to happen like this. You or if I just made a bad fucking choice by leaving. <laughs> I'm back in LA. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I went to Sacred Fools last night. That was fucking... It's like... My life. people that I love are uh, I, are really I really love them I'm I really uh, sorry this is the aftermath this is what happens I, I cry I'm like <laughs> and I, and I'm like blowing my nose and it feels it feels good Thanks for listening. I'm going to donate to that account right now. I'll put a link to it. Be good to yourself and the people, your friends, the people around you. Be good to them. Because uh, who knows? You know, who fucking knows what's going to happen? There's no way to know. I don't know. And what, you know, we can do this. We can do, we can come together and, and s sustain the planet. This is easy. It's, it's, it's here. It's what we're supposed to do. So I guess it starts from within and then you project your inner healthiness on your friends and and that sort of thing. And have fun with them. And be nice. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.